Good morning, this is Stephen Cook. I uh, wanted to present another one of our videos that we're doing, and uh, today I want to talk about hook angle. Uh, very important subject dealing with the, the bandsaw blades that we sell. Again, we're in the, the uh, thin curve, narrow band uh, uh, arena with sawmills and resaws. And uh, the hook angle has to do with uh, how far forward, if you have a uh, blade in the, and it's, I'm, I'm exaggerating it with this uh, little ruler here, I'll put it on the front. If it's leaning this way, uh, that gives you positive hook. If it were leaning backward, that would give you a negative hook. Straight up would be zero or neutral hook angle. And what that does with the blade is uh, as you're sawing, the more hook angle you get, the more it will tend to pull the blade into the cut. Uh, there's even a, used to be at least, a, a company that built a mill, and it would pull itself along. Well, they did that by the hook angle. Actually, they, they, they moved one side of the uh, uh, carriage around, which affects really the way the hook angle enters into the, the cut. But uh, the more you tilt that down, the more aggressive we would say that the uh, saw blade is. And uh, Really in the industry, I see everything from, I guess, a four degree, more straight up, to, a, to maybe a 12 degree. And uh, just the physics of the matter, in, at least in this market, you don't want to get more than a 12 degree hook angle. Standard is 10 degree. And uh, we also do an eight degree. Uh, our super sharp blade is eight degree. And so this back angle and this uh, face angle come together and, and make a penetrating point. And really, something we can talk about in another video is the very, very, very tip point. You probably can't see that, but the very tip point is what's so important in that tooth. That has to be sharp. And, and so all of these things don't matter if that little tip point is not sharp. But the hook angle will, will pull in more. I've seen blades with so much hook angle till it would choke up and have chunks in there, in, in the gullet. But uh, one thing I want to say, as you move the hook angle backward, sometimes I, I see companies that are selling, like I said, a four degree hook angle. Uh, what happens when you back this up to more, uh, more a four degree, more straight up angle, is you're dragging, you're, you'll be dragging along the cut instead of coming in and, and peeling that cut out. It's like a knife blade uh, where you're cutting in like this, you can cut something versus leaning it back and dragging it. Uh, and that's, that's the simulation of what's happening with your positive hook angle and, and negative hook angle. Uh, but if you're having to go back to a uh, lesser degree hook angle to keep your blade from, from dipping and diving up and down in the cut, that probably has to do with how your blades are set up, how your roller guides are set up, how the uh, uh, wheels, your, your band wheels themselves, just because you've got maybe even a brand new sawmill doesn't mean that your band wheels are not are, are set up correctly. And if they're leaning forward or leaning back, uh, all of those things come into play. And a lot of times people go back to the hook angle and say, well, if I do a lesser hook angle, it, it, it operates properly. If I do more hook angle, it begins to go, go down and up, up and down. Uh, and our ultimate uh, understanding from just years and years of experience with this is the more accurate uh, you can hold this blade going in straight away as in comparison to uh, how the log is laying on the bed of your mill, uh, you can go on up to that 10 degree hook angle, maybe even 12 degree, but 10 degree, uh, 12 degree, it, it's just hard to get it, you know, 100% perfect. So 10 degrees seems to give us a little bit of uh, room for just a little bit of error. But if you have that all adjusted right, you should be able to cut through knots, hardwood, whatever, uh, and be able to go at a, a good speed of cut and, uh, and be able to uh, not, uh, to, to stay straight in that cut. And the biggest thing I want to say, if, if, if you're having to re go back with lesser hook angle, uh, you need to really look and consider adjusting your meal and making sure that that's uh, uh, done properly. We have some writings on that. Uh, Billy Gaultney here could help you out with that as well. Uh, we have people that can tell you some things about that that would help you if you have a, a question or two as well. But anyway, we appreciate you looking at our videos and uh, we'll talk to you again later.